Good morning everybody and welcome back to Dad Bear DIY. Today we got a project that uh, involves our 2008 Chevy Aveo. We're going to be replacing the headlamp assemblies in this car. Um, has 95,000 miles on it and the original factory headlamp assemblies and over the years those lenses have gotten uh, scratched and uh, foggy uh, not due to any kind of moisture problem but just the sun baking the headlights has made the clear acrylic very opaque so we're gonna uh, replace these I've tried a couple different headlamp reconditioning techniques they just did not perform like I had hoped they would or didn't last that long so we're just gonna replace them uh, I ordered the parts off of Amazon from the Epic Lighting Store and um, they arrived today so we're gonna go ahead and put these in these are a safety issue um, if you're driving at night uh, clouded headlights are not gonna provide adequate lighting uh, your visibility is going to be reduced and therefore uh, it's going to affect your reaction time if anything happens uh, that you need to get on the brakes. Uh, you'll at least be able to see it easier with better headlights. So this is actually a really easy uh, swap out. The only tools you're going to need are a 10 millimeter socket and possibly if you have one of the earlier years in the 2004 to 2008 uh, Aveo model series. Uh, you may need a Phillips head screwdriver to re to remove a piece of plastic trim that uh, covers one of the access bolts. Otherwise you're just going to need a 10 millimeter socket and uh, you can use a ratchet or you can use uh, a cordless drill or driver to do it. Otherwise a uh, very easy job to do. So we're going to get started on this. I'm going to show you um, replacement of the left headlight assembly and then I'll do the right one off film and give you a, uh, a shot at the end to show you the difference. So I appreciate you guys coming by. Let's get into this project. So this is the headlamp assembly we're going to replace. Uh, the three bolts that I told you are 10 millimeter bolts and you can find them here, here, and there's one right down here in this little access area. Now, some of the earlier models of Aveo, um, this plastic trim piece actually extended over that bolt. So if your car has that extended trim piece, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two retainers so that you can pull that back and then remove the 10 millimeter bolt. I've already loosened these, so let's go ahead and take those off. Now this headlamp assembly should slide forward. And you can pull it out. Okay. So from here you're going to have two plugs that you need to undo. Let me move the camera so you can see those. Okay, I'm sorry about the shadows here, it's just the time of day. This is when I have the best chance to do this, so we're going to do it. The two plugs are the uh, connector that goes to the main headlight, and then you've got the connector that goes to the turn signal lamp. So this one here uh, should just... I do not see... A clip on here so this should just this has been in here the whole time <laughs> there you go that one's disconnected and this one does have a clip and there you go that one's disconnected like I said this is the original factory headlight and uh, to give you an idea of the age when I went to pull it out this part actually 
was so fatigued that it broke when my finger went through it when I tried to pull the headlight out. So this is your headlamp assembly. We'll show you a comparison between this and the replacement. Here you go. Okay, so on the top, of course, we've got the original headlamp assembly, and the bottom is the replacement headlamp assembly, and you can see the difference, the clarity of the lens, and that's going to really improve our, our headlights and uh, visibility. So that's why we're doing this. As I compare the two, Everything is identical on the back. Yep, everything looks exactly the same. So I'll go ahead and give you the uh, part number off the box here. Um, the brand of light that uh, Epic Lighting sent is uh, Eagle Eyes. For the left headlamp, which is what we're replacing, that part number is GM428-B001L. L for left, same part number, ends with R for right, for the right side. So this is what we're going to be replacing the original with. Like I said, it looks really good. comes with the, the bulbs in it already, so you don't have to replace the bulbs. Let's go ahead and get that in. Okay, so here's our new lamp assembly. Uh, the only thing I've done to prepare this is to start to uh, peel away a little bit of the protective film put over the clear lens. I did notice that some of the, the edge of the protective film is getting stuck on some of the sealant that's inside this band that keeps this assembly uh, relatively watertight. So you may have to clean that up a little bit, but I think we're going to be, I think I'll be fine to be able to get it off as much as I need to. So we're going to go ahead and reconnect the connectors now. I'm going to start with the headlight only goes on one way so this is a really easy plug-in return sin signal light does have a it only goes it should only go on one way and it does have a a little clip you want to make sure that clicks there's our click and now we're going to take this and slide it in Take this protective wrapping off. The top edge of it did, some of it did stick to the sealant. So. I'm just going to slide this into place until the holes line up on your mounting bolts. We'll go ahead and get those started. Gonna crank down on this too hard because it is a plastic tab. Gonna make sure it's snug. And then we'll pull that protective film off. Alright, I'll show you a comparison. So as you can see here. The headlight on the right of the screen, the left headlight, has been replaced. The one on the left side of the screen here, the right headlight, is the original. And both of these headlights are equally in the sun. Okay, so you can tell the difference. The one on the left of your screen 
almost looks like the lights are turned on and the new one just is brilliantly clear okay so we'll do a test after I put in the right side and see how they look all right guys so there's our finished product I think they look absolutely phenomenal I feel a lot better about the the visibility with those haven't been installed uh, just remember if you've got one of the the earlier in this uh, series of Aveos I think uh, this one was 2004 to 2008 this black trim piece that you see here may extend over that bolt right there so you may have to use your Phillips head to undo those and pull that back so that you can re so you can reach it just uh, be careful if you do that because of the age of these cars you saw how brittle this plastic can get uh, don't try to pull on it too hard you may have to take the whole thing off just to make sure you don't break it okay but that's it guys that job uh, really was easy and uh, th the part looks great uh, if I come across any issues with this headlight assembly I'll make sure to update the video and let you know but I, I couldn't be happier with how this looks I know this is going to be a lot safer to drive with those new headlamp assemblies so definitely a DIY job if you prep all your materials get the new headlights out and and you know you've got your tools everything this job can really take less than 15 minutes to do both sides so uh, I think they look great so, all right let's wrap it up well guys that's it we just finished replacing the headlamp assemblies on 2008 Chevy Aveo the old ones were old and clouded and these new ones that we got look absolutely great so I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out our video I hope it was helpful for you uh, I appreciate everybody that's been coming by to check our videos out uh, the channel is starting to, to slowly grow like I said I've got some videos in the bank that are going to be uh, posted here soon uh, this was another job that popped up and uh, needed to be taken care of so we're going to throw this one in there also thank you to everybody who has subscribed uh, thank you for those who have uh, had comments in the videos if you haven't subscribed and you like the videos that we're putting out do us a favor hit that subscribe and notification bell uh, so that you can be updated when we put new material out uh, also if you like the video give us a thumbs up i try to keep it short and sweet show you the meat of it and uh, show you the results so this looks really good and again if anything comes up with these headlamp assemblies i'll make sure to update the videos and i'll try to get the uh i'll get the part numbers and everything that uh i ordered so you guys have that information if this is something you want to get thanks again for coming to dad bear diy you guys take care of yourselves take care of others and be safe